Clouds. What's going on, Spartans? Hope you're ready for an extended play of Zombination. World Zombination is coming out with an update, which is really awesome. I'll tell you more about it in the next episode. But, guys, let's get straight into it. Let's have some fun here. Let's make sure all these troops are ready to rock and roll. Got my firefighters. As you can see, I got a lot of guys leveling up to level 11 here. Unfortunately, I need another machine gunner to evolve him and get him to level 11. We'll work on that. We'll get another one eventually, hopefully. And, yeah, let's just start out with these guys. Got my snipers. Got my surgeons. Got a lot of guys. I'll be explaining what each person does in this episode and also just showing you some high-level gameplay at the same time. So, I hope you enjoy this. Should be a lot of fun. Main point of this game, if you haven't watched this in the past, is to guard that hospital. The thing with the, the blue plus sign is the hospital. That is your life source. That's like your HQ, your town hall. You got to guard that. Now, blue pads are where you place people on. And by the way, there are two hospitals in this one, so you got to guard both of them. And if both of them die that or get destroyed, then you lose. If one stays alive, even if all your troops die... You still get one star and get the reward, but you get a little bit less than you would if you had killed all the zombies and got a three star. Now, these pads in the back that are really far back, you're going to want to put spec ops there or snipers. My spec ops are basically invisible snipers. No one will go near them until they are very, very close to them. So in those far pads like that, no one will ever touch them. They'll just shoot all day and they have long range, so they'll shoot the entire length of the map. That's the number one thing you got to know about them. I want to put some heavy guys down here. I'm going to put a machine gun. Ah, excuse me. Put a machine gun. And then some axemen, a.k.a. firemen. And some shotgunners, a.k.a. mercenaries, down on these pads. Just build up a pretty tough army right there. Basically, you want some melee, you want some gunners, and then you want your machine gunner who can just wreck havoc. And that should be able to hold down that hospital, keep them safe. Even if both those pads go for them, I'm pretty confident the machine gunner. Up top, I'm putting some outlaws and mercenaries up there to guard that one. And I'm pretty confident this should hold. Let's see what happens, though. So the basic strategy in this game, there are two things that you need to do. Number one, you got to make sure you have snipers at long range to take out strong, heavy health units. Then you need, up front, you need on pads, you need a melee guy and a gunner for all your front pads. Then the pads behind that, you're going to want your distance guys, like let's say your mercenaries or your machine gunners you definitely want machine gunners behind a line of troops because they do take a few seconds to load up once they do start shooting though you'll see once he does start shooting it just goes crazy look non-stop just waves just wrecking waves of people and yeah so my mercenary is basically my cleanup crew make sure nothing gets past my melee units or my machine gunner and unfortunately this is actually you know what fortunately this is going really well i thought i was about to go south there for a second but the wall is gone up top here and my lumberjack is going to town he's got that chainsaw working pretty awesome this game is really looking good guys if you were here before the original polish up they updated the way the lighting is and the way that everything looks basically this new update i can't tell you about right now because i don't want to ruin anything but it looks so good it's so much fun guys I am super excited for it, and overall, let's see what we got here. Let's go to Dakar, another medium level gameplay place. It says here, recommended unit level is 9 to play in hard, so my troops are about 11, so they're a little above that, but we shouldn't have too much trouble. We're going to go ahead and just attack. Let's get it. There's 450 cans. That's your energy source. That's how you are able to attack cities. That's how you're able to upgrade your troops, etc., and purple pads obviously are where zombies come from and those are automated so that's pretty self-explanatory but yeah i'm really enjoying this game tons of cool content come in the future and there's only one hospital here so i do like to take a little bit of time before i place troops to plan out exactly the best place to put them i think if i put a spec op over there or two no one will ever see them so Let's find out if that's true. Even though there is a wall there, I think the troops or the zombies will go for the wall rather than the spec ops. Let's see if I'm right on that though. Let's put some mercenaries down here. Need to, I love putting mercenaries behind a wall. If there is a wall, a double mercenary plus a lumberjack can really hold for quite a while. They won't hold forever, but they will hold for quite a while. And then on the pads that do not have or a wall in front of them, I like to put 
heavy on the melee units. Like, let's say two Axemen, AK Firemen, and one, let's say, one shooting, one any kind of shooting kind of character. So, put a Mercenary behind two Firefighters, and unfortunately, they're dying really quickly there. That pad's gone. That's over. And I was right. Look at that. Those guys did go through that wall. Rather than shoot or go for the uh, Sniper, which is my Spec Ops, and you want snipers for the reason that you see these guys running up that are exploding. Those guys can destroy an entire pad. So you need gunners to destroy them. So that's why you never just do just a lumberjack or just a chainsaw. You do a mixture of everything. But look how many characters are on screen. Look at all these zombies. They're all running. Some are shooting stuff. Some are like got poison coming out of them. Some are launching acid. It's insane, guys. There are so many things going on in this game. This is going a little south too fast. Oh, no. It's those... Those uh, acid spitters are really doing a bad job of, uh, oh man, they're just wrecking my troops. This is so bad. Oh no. This might not be a win, guys. This is really, really bad. Let's see if I pull my troops over here left by moving the pad that I can hold. My, oh my god, my firefighters really take a lot of hits, but let's see if this machine gunner can go to work and get those guys out of the way. And it looks like, oh man, they're going to attack that. They're attacking the hospital, but not many of them are over there. So maybe, just maybe, we can get this and win it. Looks like we can... Oh, no. Do I have any troops left? Let's see if I can drop someone to take out the rest of those guys. And I don't have anyone, unfortunately. So, we only got the one star, unfortunately. We almost had three, but too bad. We did get our gunner as a present for winning our prize. Pretty solid. Let's move on to the next battle. What do we got on the map here? San Francisco, I have not showed you what it looks like since the last update. So, I might just show you that one for fun. While I choose some troops and click on, let's let's go to go hard. Yeah, you know what, normal hard. Which one should I attack with? Let's see. Let's go on hard. Anyway, what I want to ask you guys is two things. If you guys are enjoying watching this, make sure you do slap the like button because I will put more zombination on here i will not decrease the amount of clash i put up but i will try and post more often with zombination if you guys are enjoying the gameplay so make sure you do slap a like in this video if you are supportive of it it does really help me choose what games to put on my channel i will be doing a little more of this means war now that it was globally released so that's pretty exciting i have not been playing that a lot but that's just because i'm working so much unfortunately and I will be getting back into more uploads. I know I did about four uploads last week, or five, no, I did five uploads last week in the last seven days on this channel. However, I also did five uploads on the Clash Army. So that's pretty insane. I did get 10 videos out while working two jobs, and I'm proud of that. But we need to get more up on this channel because I want to get daily content up. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to start doing some short videos and some long videos. I might do a short Clash of Clans video with... A regular let's play for this means war or a regular this means or I'm sorry zombination game play so you'll have two videos a day maybe for some days and then I'll have regular long clash of clan video days we shall see I may actually quit one of my jobs so I have more time to dedicate toward videos for you guys hope you do enjoy my content I really enjoy making videos look at all these zombies it's so crazy how many come off these pads I mean I just love it I love how it's not even just one pad. There's like two pads going, three pads going at sometimes, four in some random cases on some maps at higher levels when you're an expert. You'll have four pads of zombies rolling out and trying to attack you. Right here, about three pads are about to release zombies. So I'm going to drop a lumberjack there to buy myself some time. And I'm finding a good strategy with some of these higher level play is to sacrifice troops. Like if you put two lumberjacks down... They'll hold that entire group of zombies down for like 30 seconds, which can really mean the difference between destroying a whole horde from another uh, another pad rather than trying to face two pads at once. It really depends on what your troop composition, what you're using. My researcher seems to be really helpful. I really wish I knew exactly how much like percentage of health she did take off. You can see I was moving around there just for fun, trying to buy some time. Unfortunately, they are going to go for that hospital. I did not put enough troops down to defend that hospital, but they are not going to get through that second wall. I can promise you that. I will not let that happen. This guy is just going to sit there and look at this wall because he's not an attack unit. He spawns zombies, so he cannot attack anything. 
And my, these zombies did take that hospital and they're working their way through this secondary wall. Now, here's something interesting. These blue and black walls, any wall that's super tall that's blue and black, you cannot shoot through. So, for those walls, they are a whole different strategy for placement of troops. With the wood walls, you can place any shooting troop on the other side and they can shoot while the troops break through it. But with the big walls like that, you cannot defend while they break through. You got to wait. So another victory, got two survivors that I won, a Lumberjack and another Lumberjack, pretty awesome, 200 cans, 245 experience, doing pretty alright, and do you guys want to see how to upgrade troops and how to evolve troops? I got some questions on that in my inbox, so maybe I'll do a video on how to evolve troops and how to level them up, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you know what, might as well show it. Who knows, there's always someone who doesn't know what's going on or how to play a game, and it does get confusing with all the games we play. How to win and how to also like grow your troops and all that stuff. There's a lot going on in every game. This is, at the current time being, one of my favorite games. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Let's go to San Francisco and rock and roll. Let's get one more. Look how dark the scenery is here. Just want to point that out before I zoom in. It is so dark and so like just really negative feeling going on here i love it feels like death kind of and they're doing a great job with their maps i am super pumped to see what they come out with in the future just gonna drop some troops here as you can see doing my normal strategy lumberjacks mercenaries and then i, I actually put a researcher on that pad and that's because that weakens all the units that come within range so that red circle with all the little like hurt symbols coming off it that's the range that the researcher has and that's where she affects troops and weakens them so as you can see, these troops are going down. They're getting injured, and unfortunately, took out my first pad. Let's see if these other two pads can hold. I think they can. So I just dropped another troop to buy my other troops a second, and let's see what happens. Now, the cool thing about this game is there is a regular speed and a speed up button. As you can see, I always play on sped up. Otherwise, it would take an actual four minutes to play the round. So I like to get it done in about two and unfortunately these spinners are going to cause a little bit of trouble let's see if my gunners can take care of them though and yeah i always play in sped up just because it takes too long otherwise in my opinion but it, when it does get crazy like on expert levels sometimes you need to slow it down and you just need to let your troops play it out you need to play more strategically and move your troops around but another 25 excuse me cans and let's go ahead and call it quits here hope you enjoyed this episode i'll see you guys soon for the next one thanks for watching see you soon peace